My name is Dory Hines, the head men's basketball coach at the University of Mount Olive. I played here in 2010 and 2014. I graduated with my degree in physical education. My name is Coach Johnson. I'm a senior here at Mount Olive. Uh, I'm an accounting and finance major. And it's my last year. All right, Coach, what's your favorite part of the game? Uh, you know, defense is very important. But, you know, offense has been my favorite part of the game. You know, scoring, shooting the basketball. You know. Well, you know what's going to keep you on the court this year, right? <laughs> defense. Defense and rebounding. Yep. Defense and rebounding. So, uh, that's good to know. Uh, Cole's really good shooter. Who your favorite shooter in the NBA? Uh, favorite shooter? Steph Curry, for sure. Steph Curry. For sure. Uh, I shooter. wish you could shoot it like him. I wish so too. <laughs> hey, I wish so too. Uh, who your favorite player? LeBron James. LeBron. That's yeah. a good choice. That's my favorite player, so we're good. We're, we're on the same page there, so that, that's, that's good. Who's your favorite point guard? Favorite point guard right now? Yeah. Uh, probably. Uh, probably Luka Doncic. For real? Yeah. Because uh, what? Because my boy played with him. He's a, he's a dog. Oh, yeah, okay. Childhood memories playing. We used to always go to Holloway Recreation Center, and we got out of school at 2.30 and the gym opened at 3. And you had to be standing at the door at 2.40 or you wouldn't be able to get in. It'd take mm -hmm. you about three hours to get on the court. So when I was younger, I, I grew up outside. outside. I had two uh, younger sisters, so no brothers. I just play with my friends every day, um, just outside every day, after school every day, just playing, driving the basketball, shooting, just playing games every day. The passion for the game, man, you just, you know, I'm very passionate about it. I love it. Um, I want to see these guys do well um, as a player. Being able to win the championship here as a player was great, but being able to win one here as a coach would be even better. Um, we got a lot of talented guys on the roster this year that haven't won a championship before. So, you know, it's a big effort. It's, it's a big thing for us to do this year. We're challenging each other. We're getting better right now. So, you know, we got dreams of a championship this year. My passion actually started from uh, Kobe Bryant. Um, I remember watching as a kid, Game 7, 2010, uh, Lakers versus Celtics. I was just watching that game and watching them dominate. And just his passion for the game, that just inspired me a lot. And ever since then, I've just been in love with basketball, love with the work, love with the grind. Just It's been my passion ever since. So, uh, LeBron versus MJ. Uh, I never really seen MJ. You know, I haven't watched the whole documentary yet, but LeBron, what he's been able to do on the court and off the court has been tremendous. You know, going to all those straight finals um, in the East and then going to go win one in the West, bringing one back to Cleveland where everyone doubted him. You know, he went to Miami and was with Dwayne Wade and learned how to win the championship. And then he went back and did it with Kyrie Irving and Kevin Love. That was just tremendous, down 3-1, backs against the wall triple-double, 40-point games, and, you know, being able to see what he's done with Nike, building the school, you know, he's just, he's just done so much more. Like, I know everybody talk about Micah got that killer instinct, but LeBron just the type of guy you want to play with. He always yeah. make the right play. He's unselfish. Uh, I think he should take a few more game winners, but he just always about making the right play. And that's yeah. the type of guy you want to play with. That's the type of guy you want to win a championship yeah. with. And I feel like it's kind of hard to compare the two because it's just, in my opinion, just two different players, uh, two different eras for sure. You know, people want to talk about the the rings and who LeBron had to go against, who Mike had to go against. In my opinion, Mike was to go against the Warriors, with Steph Curry and Kevin Durant. But yeah, that's just my opinion. But uh, I think they're both the greatest of the generation for sure, for sure. Um, the reason I'm proud to be a UMO Trojan is this is where I this is where I graduated from. Um, Coach Higg, he gave me my only scholarship offer out of high school, so he means the world to me. And when he got the AD job, we just, we we connected. We was already like best friends and we just talked about it. And, you know, I knew it was always his dream when he was done for me to be the coach here. And, you know, that's part of the reason I'm proud to be a UMO Trojan. But, you know, this is for me, being 45 minutes away from my mama, being able to see her consistently, like this is home for me. and. Um, it's gonna to have to be life changing for me to leave this place. I'm proud to be a UMO Trojan because uh, these past four years have really like impacted me as a person, me as a man. Um, just a lot of growing pains, a lot of growing up, just a lot of helping me in life, you know, just as a human being, as well as uh, well as on a basketball court. My sport just as far as just getting me better, I'm um, stronger, just mentally stronger, you know, physically stronger. So uh, it's really impacting my life a lot. Being a UMO Trojan.